CalDigit's mini dock allows you to connect to two 4K displays at 60 Hertz. How's it going ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? This is Jeff Benjamin with 9to5Mac. I have a couple of new items from CalDigit to show you. These are docks for your MacBook Pro. They are Thunderbolt 3 enabled docks and they allow you to connect to multiple 4K displays using a single dock that's bus powered. So you have the DisplayPort version, which is right here, and then there's one for HDMI as well. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and unbox these and see exactly what they're all about and, and discuss why you would need one of these. Well, of course, it's kind of obvious why you would need one of these. If you have a MacBook Pro that's Thunderbolt 3 enabled and you wanna to connect to multiple 4K displays, this is going to allow you to do that with ease. And there's no extra power adapters needed because it's bus powered. Uh, so let's go ahead and unbox it and see what it's all about. Of course, it's not just about connecting displays. There are a couple of other IO options on here as well. So this is the dual HDMI version. Go ahead and open it up. And here you have a little product information, uh, basically just telling you about the product, how to contact support, things of that nature, typical. And then inside, you have the dock, and that's pretty much it. So that's all that's in this box. Nothing else in here. You have the dock, which is, like I said, aluminum. So we're gonna go ahead and unwrap it here. Again, this is the HDMI version. So here it is, folks. This is the CalDigit Thunderbolt 3 Mini Dock HDMI. Uh, so again, single Thunderbolt 3 cable. Uh, it's not gonna work with USB-C enabled MacBooks, like the 12 inch MacBook. You will need Thunderbolt 3 in order to use this. And the really nice thing about this is that the outer shell, at least most of the outer shell is made out of aluminum. So in most cases, it should stand up to wear and tear better than an all plastic build. Now down front, you have several ports. You have two HDMI ports here on the front. You also have a USB 3.0. This is a uh, five gigabits per second connection. It's a USB-A connector. And that's great for, of course, MacBook Pro owners who need access to legacy USB-A connectivity. And then you have a USB 2.0 port, which is interesting in this day and age. And you also have a gigabit ethernet port as well. On the bottom of the device, you'll see it has two rubber feet to keep it from sliding around on your desk. Now the Thunderbolt 3 cable, as you can see, isn't very long, but that's actually not necessarily a bad thing uh, because it's easier to travel with. Uh, you don't have to worry about packing a Thunderbolt 3 cable with you because it's built in. So you just easily connect this to your MacBook Pro and you're ready to go, ready to connect external displays. And again, just to reiterate, this is the HDMI version, 60 Hertz, 4K connectivity, two displays simultaneously. Now, we also have the DisplayPort version, it's gonna be the same, the same dock, except swapping out the HDMI for the display port. So we're gonna go ahead and unwrap this. So you can see there down on front, there is actually a one extra difference with this one. You can see you have the two display port connections, you have the USB 3.0 connection, but you don't get that USB 2.0 connection like you do on the HDMI uh, version. So that's something to keep in mind. Probably not gonna affect mo most people, probably not gonna matter to most people, but just something to note anyway. And then you also have your gigabit ethernet connection as well. Same type of cable, same exact device except for the IO. Little differences there obviously between DisplayPort and HDMI. So here they are together. You can see they look very similar. Uh, here's both the docks. Same exact size, same form factor, same design, same build materials. So you would just choose whichever one works best for your particular setup situation. If you have HDMI enabled displays or if you have DisplayPort enabled displays, then you would choose accordingly. Now, unfortunately, I only have one DisplayPort enabled display on hand. However, I do have two HDMI displays on hand. So I'm gonna connect the HDMI version and just make sure I can connect it 4K 60 Hertz just to test it out. Okay, so I have the CalDigit mini dock connected to my 2017 13 inch MacBook Pro, and I have two HDMI displays connected to the mini dock. So you can see I have this 4K display here, and then I have a 4K television connected above that, and both of those are going through the CalDigit mini dock. Now let's check it out and see 
if we're getting 4K at 60 hertz, and you can see, yes, indeed, we are. So 3840 by 2160 at 60 hertz on the television, and then on the monitor, 3840 by 2160 at 60 hertz. I have to say that after testing it, I'm pretty impressed with the CalDigit Mini Docs plug and play performance. If you've ever tried to connect one 4K display to your MacBook Pro over HDMI, you know how finicky it can be sometimes? Sometimes it's difficult to get a 4K connection at 60 hertz, but this did it with no problems on not just one display, but multiple displays, two displays at the same time. Uh, it was truly a plug and play affair. And it also is useful because you get additional IO. It's not just about connecting displays. You get a gigabit ethernet connection, you get a USB connection. So you can truly use this as a single set it and forget it dock solution. You could have, for instance, an external drive connected to the USB port. You can have two 4K displays at 60 Hertz and you can have gigabit ethernet all from one bus power device. Pretty impressive. Now both of these units retail for around a hundred bucks. The only other nitpicky complaint that I have is that the color, the space gray color doesn't exactly match the space gray of the MacBook Pro, but given the fact that Apple can't decide on what actually is space gray, it's hard to complain. And one last thing, just notice how portable it is. This is next to my Pixel 2 XL. It's very small and easy to travel with. So you can find both of these devices at retail for around hundred bucks or so, which is a pretty good deal when you compare it to other similar docks. So ladies and gentlemen, do you ever connect to one or two 4K displays at the same time with your MacBook Pro? Would you consider using the CalDigit mini dock? Let me know down below in the comment section. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.